I hate psych psychology and analysts. They are a disease of our time. They should be all just put on an aeroplane and flown into an island and they should, in the, in the, in the Pacific, they should analyze each other, but they should not bother us. Besides these, these people, they just come like, <laughs> just boldly as, as if it was a, a profession or a science already and, and they, they do not confess that uh, their knowledge is not much more than, let's say, brain surgery during uh, middle dynasty in Egypt for, during the pharaoh time. So, out with them, forget about them. They are disease. They are our disease, and that's exactly because they are too indiscreet. And finally, back to Herzog. I'm one of those who does not dream at night. The psychology uh, is is just uh, uh, is just a scandal. The whole the whole profession, the whole discipline is a scandal. And and these bastards <laughs> maintain that every person dreams so and so much time during the night and I am the living proof that it is not the, that, that it is not like that. I do not dream. I, I really don't dream. I, I, do, I do so maybe once a year or so. This is Werner Herzog talking to Norman Neal at the then National Film Theatre in 1988. And it's very prosaic. I, my last dream was that I had a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> for lunch. <laughs> so, but, and, and, and maybe, sorry, I, I want to add something serious, but it's true, I mean, I, ha I, I had a sandwich for lunch, but maybe because when I wake up in the morning, I, I have a deficit, like some people who do not sleep long enough, they, you sense it, you have not Today, for example, I have a, an enormous deficit of sleep. I haven't slept very well the last nights, and I had to drink a lot of vodka last night until I f fell out of my shoes. <laughs> but when I wake up in the morning, I have the feeling there is a deficit of dreaming. Again, God damn it, again, why haven't I dreamt? And maybe, maybe that pushes me a little bit into making films. The best known of the new German cinema crowd, Herzog's career has incorporated stints as a writer, director, actor, poet and sort of performance artist. In the course of his filmmaking he's been shot, faced a riot of Amazonian women on set and famously hauled a 320 ton steamship over a mountain during the filming of Fitzcarraldo. He's as happy mooning over the cave paintings of Chavot as he is facing off against Tom Cruise as the baddie in Jack Reacher. He's probably the filmmaker who best channels the spirit of Fassbinder an artist who wants his films watched, a salesman who knows his art. Oh, and he's got no...